What's up guys? So in this video, I'm gonna talk about uh, your initial meeting with a counselor after you've applied for voc rehab benefits. So you've already filled out the, uh, the application, you're determined eligible, so they ask you to do an initial interview with a voc rehab counselor. Um, and this is the big one, guys. This is where people get screwed all the time because uh, there's a lot of subjectivity in the decision making on deeming you entitled for the services. Uh, I actually got denied my first time and then reapplied and, and had a different counselor and was accepted. Um, but so I'm making this video because I want to try to coach you through so that you can come correct to your meeting and, uh, you know, make yourself uh, have as best possible chance at getting the services as you can. So the main purpose of this meeting is to for them to determine whether or not you're entitled to voc rehab services. Um, and this is different than eligibility. Eligibility is when you filled out the application and uh, you were determined eligible just because you had a, you did not have a dishonorable discharge and you had at least a 10 or 20% disability rating depending on whether it was for an employment handicap or serious employment handicap. Um, so that right there means that you were eligible just because you met those two criteria. Now they're gonna try to determine whether or not you're entitled, okay? So entitled, being entitled is all about, uh, what they're looking for is if you have an employment handicap, and I'm just gonna re read what that is exactly uh, from their code. An employment handicap is an impairment of a veteran or service member's ability to prepare for, obtain, or retain employment consistent with his or her abilities, aptitudes, and interests. So as you can see, there's a lot of subjectivity in there, okay? So they, and when you come into this meeting, you need, to, you need to understand it doesn't matter that, I'd say most people, I don't have data on this, but I'd say pretty much everyone that I've talked to that's using uh, Voc Rehab, they're using it for education services to reach you know, a career goal. But when you come and sit down and talk with a, a counselor for this initial interview, you need to understand that Voc Rehab, they're very adamant about this, Voc Rehab is an employment program, it's not an educational program. Okay, it's not an educational benefits program like the GI Bill per se, um, and they're very, you know, they they're very strict on this. So don't come in talking just straight up about you want to go to school. Okay, now if school is required for your career goals, that's where Voc Rehab comes in, and they, you know, they foot the bill for everything, and it's an incredible program. Okay, so for example, if you want to be, you're leaving the service, and you want to be a nurse. Okay, you wanna go, so obviously you gotta to go to nursing school, right? You need to be prepared for them to counter with, well, uh, you know, maybe would you be interested in doing, like being an EMT? It doesn't require as much schooling, okay? So you need to have answers lined up for, for you know, situations like this, for them to bring up things like this and say, no, I, you know, I don't wanna be, I've thought about that, I don't wanna be an EMT because X, Y, Z, I really wanna be a nurse, uh, because ABC, okay? So being able to come, uh, you know, prepared for, for questions like that. So additionally, you have to keep in mind as well, um, whatever it is that you want to, as your career goal, what you wanna be, it's gonna be a huge red flag if you come with a career goal that is uh, something that might exacerbate your disabilities, okay? So, you know, if you're an infantry guy and you've got bad knees, bad back, bad, you know, whatever, um, and you say you want to do, you know, oh, I want certifications in, I don't know, construction or something, uh, you know, they might be like, yo, that's kind of a red flag for us. That sounds like it could further uh, aggravate your disability. So I don't think that's really a good, a good game plan. So just think through those things. Think through what career you want to do and also be able to explain how, you know, your previous experiences, uh, like in the military, have not gotten you all the way to where you need to be educational wise or certification wise uh, to reach that career goal, okay? And that part's pretty easy, but then also being able to match that with the fact that, oh, this career goal is right for me because it won't, uh, you know, it won't further aggravate my disability. So that's something that they're gonna be kind of keying into as well. And I'll give you an example. For me, uh, I wanna be a doctor and they even brought up, oh, you know, you know you've got a bad back, um, you know, maybe, are you sure that like uh, being on your feet a lot and stuff like that's gonna be, uh, you know, that might aggravate your your disabilities even more. So just come prepared to be able to talk through that uh, rationally um, because they're gonna bring it up. 
So to just recap, this is a very important meeting for you, okay? They're gonna be looking as to why you can't, you know, what your career goal is, why you can't reach it, um, you know, right now without their help. And, uh, you know, if that career goal is gonna further aggravate your disabilities, okay? So being able to come uh, to that meeting and talk through that rationally and have answers for anything that they might bring up is huge. Now to read for you again what the what they're looking for. They are looking for, you know, determining whether or not you're entitled and that's almost strictly on whether you, or not you have what's called an employment handicap. Okay? And an employment handicap is an impairment of a veteran or service member's ability to prepare for, obtain or retain employment consistent with his or her abilities, aptitudes, and interests. So when you're talking about your career goal and what you wanna, you know, what you're looking to do, you do need to talk about how this does align with your uh, aptitudes, abilities, interests. Keep reiterating that uh, because that's straight from their code. And having a rational, you know, response on, hey, this is, you know, a career goal that I have. I can't make, I can't get to this goal with the experiences that I have alone from the military. Uh, I do need, you know, some sort of training, education, certification. Uh, to get there, and it's not going to further exacerbate my, you know, my disabilities. This is, you know, this is consistent with what I want to do, and it's something that, you know, I would be successful because at the end of the day, for their numbers, they want to know that they can see you through, uh, you know, to the end, all the way through your your training, education, whatever it is, and that they've plugged you into a right uh, career because, like I said in the beginning, this is a career. This is an employment program not just strictly an education program. So for them, the end goal is what they're looking at and that's fitting you into a right career that, um, you know, that does align with your uh, abilities, aptitudes, and interests. So I know there's a lot to unpack there. Uh, feel free to comment with any of your questions and you know, I'm happy to help. I'm gonna be making maybe a few more videos on Voc Rehab to clarify some things, um, you know, to help you in the journey and you know, make sure that you're as successful as you possibly can be.